Hey everybody, this is Derek and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about misconceptions of the uh, 2012 phenomenon. And I'm going to start this off with the funniest types of comments that I have uh, read on numerous occasions. That is, uh, remember the old Y2K and like June 606 deal? I mean, hello, it didn't happen then. If uh, that's where you're going to be leading a 2012 debate, man, I got you dominated as far as debating that topic would be concerned. I mean, June 6th, does that not sound hilarious to yourself when you say that? Oh, everyone said it was going to end. Well, no, not everyone said it. I didn't say it. For I even, never even heard of that prophecy until 2008. And even when I first heard it, it's like, well, if there was such a thing that the devil would come back on that particular date because it's that particular date, wouldn't that have happened on June 6, uh, 666 AD? But enough about that misconception. I seen a commercial recently. It was a Dodge commercial. They started the commercial off stating, oh, the Mayans predict the end of the world. It's time to get your canned beans, your water, and all of these emergency items. But one of them has to be this Dodge vehicle. And I think a lot of different pieces of equipment are needed during this period of time frame. So I'm not denying that uh, that's an asset that may not be a positive one for the next uh, few years. But the whole misconception of that is that the minds actually predict this whole end of the world type of event. And they say in the commercial, well, maybe they're wrong, the minds are, no, maybe the people given these prophecies maybe that would be incorrect. And to think that on the 21st or whatever that uh, the day we'll call it happens to be, you think everything's gonna work, wake up fine, and then all of a sudden, boom, we have these major events that uh, come into play? Yeah, because what it seems, at least, uh, when we look at uh, modern uh, evolution and modern creation, is that these types of transitions are helping or are, are coming into play over a gradual period of time. And I'm saying helping because it's I see it as needed to be done to destroy stuff like the economic system. And even then, that comes with another misconception. People are wondering, well, why hasn't the dollar collapsed? And why is the stock market up so much? Why is the economy not falling yet? Or what's taking so long? Well, to understand what's taking so long is to think, okay, well, 2012 is uh, the so-called end of the day which gives us uh, pretty much all of 2010 less a month, all of 2011, and all of 2012 less a week and a half. So what well, that's like 35 months. And to think it's all going to happen now means that the gradual changes are going to happen all at the start. No, it's not going to happen all everything all, all at once now. And just like it's not all going to happen when we wake up that one day on December the 20th or 8 a.m. December 21st or whatever date or time you want to go with and it all gets crazy then, uh, no. No. Uh, I'll tell you something that I do not think is a misconception that I actually think is reality. I might be wrong about this. And you'll hear people stating, oh, the Mayan calendar is just going to end, and then it just resets itself over again. And when I hear that, when I think about that, I, all i got to say is, like, bingo, yeah, of course, that uh, makes the uh, most sense. Just as the gradual transitions come to that period of 2012, or up to 2012, that means those gradual changes will then thus keep on happening into 2013 and 2014 and I guess we have creation that's speeding up faster and faster and faster when it seems as if it's going to happen when we get past this period and into ascension that creation is going to get slower and slower and quite frankly with how fast things are getting we're going to probably need that. Uh, thank you all for watching and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye bye everyone.